A retired Ohio farmer told me this story. It was about the best coon dog he'd ever seen. It was an old blue tick hound that his father had trained. And he said his dad was such an excellent trainer, he didn't even have to go hunting with blue. The dog would go by himself. Dad would put a hide board out on the back porch, a large or a jumbo. And just before dark, Blue would come out from under the porch, look at the size of the hide board, and the next morning, there would be a coon, too fit, lying on the porch. Blue was so well trained and so smart, he would chase the raccoons around through the woods till he spied a tree that was leaning just enough that he could climb up it and take care of the coon sometimes more than one. And then he'd whip out his little moor maker knife that he carried on his collar and skin him out. And he'd carry him home in his mouth. The only thing that he couldn't do was sharpen his skinning knife. You see, he couldn't hold a knife with his paws because his toenails were so worn down from running that when he held the knife in his mouth, his ears flopped down and he couldn't see. Blue was so proficient with the knife, he would hold it in his teeth, peel his lips back like a jackass eating briars, and reach up with one toenail and open that little more maker knife and skin the coon right quick and not have a nick in the hide. One time Dad sent away and got Blue a mail order course on ventriloquism. He got so good at throwing his voice that the game wardens from three counties ran themselves ragged trying to catch old Blue hunting out a season. But alas, they lost old Blue due to an unfortunate circumstance. Mom always did her ironing out on the back porch and one day Dad came home with a brand new ironing board. Well, they visited and hugged and caught up and, and then went in the house completely forgetting about the ironing board left out on the porch. It was left out all night. They never saw Old Blue again. This is Baxter Black from out there.